Hey, squints. Some people like to eat fish. Those people are weird. I like to eat ice cream. But wait! Some new kinds of ice cream actually have fish in it. When will the madness end? Now, I'm not talking fish-flavored ice cream. That would be ludicrous. Although supposedly it does exist. Huh? I'm talking about the addition of a certain fish protein found in fish blood. And this protein does some pretty cool stuff. The ocean pout lives in some cold, near-freezing waters. Normally their blood would start to freeze at those temperatures, but they make what are called antifreeze proteins, which lowers the temperature at which their blood freezes. The proteins do this by smothering any ice crystals as soon as they start growing. And without crystals, the blood can't freeze. Ice cream companies are starting to see great potential in using these antifreeze proteins in their ice cream. Ice formation is actually very important to the process of ice cream making, turning the sweet liquid cream into a solid frozen treat. To freeze the cream, you need ice crystals to form, but the size of crystals has to be closely watched. Scientists have found the ideal ice crystal size in ice cream to be around 20 microns, or 0.02 millimeters, any bigger and the ice cream becomes icy and crunchy. But real ice cream connoisseurs know that ice cream should be smooth, yep. not icy. So the smaller the ice crystals, the better. Adding these antifreeze proteins helps keep the size of crystals small and the ice cream nice and smooth. The real benefit though comes from what happens when ice cream is left out to partially melt, like on the trip home from the store, or when Kevin leaves it sitting on his pillow all night. And now you're gonna edit this part. When ice cream starts to melt and then gets refrozen, this is when large, nasty, crunchy ice crystals form and ruin the ice cream. I'm sure you've seen the glistening mess that is refrozen ice cream. The changes in temperature causes small ice crystals to combine and grow. So I think for the first time in my life, I'll be asking for fish in my ice cream from now on, please. Keep on making antifreeze protein, assuming you're a poutfish. Keep asking questions and keep on squinting. Do you want to be smart like Einstein? Well, the answer is simple. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and check out some more of our videos, like the one over here, or the one over here. <laughs>